he's already kind of adapted his game plan since that Polish set. Um, but I also know that Ryobeat has definitely watched that Polish set, right? And <laughs> is going to be kind of ready to sort of replicate some of that, so. Yeah, absolutely. And so we're into it here. We're going to start on Battlefield. Uh, Bobby looks like he's trying to play a, a vertical mix-up game a little before coming down quickly. Uh, again, he's looking for shines at low percents. Uh, Peach has great ways to reversal uh, basically all of Falco's aerials um, yeah. up to pretty high percentages. So looking for those shines is, is pretty good, but it's also scary because if you miss the spacing, uh, you get caught holding down against a Peach down smash and you're just dead. Yep. We actually saw the first interaction was a Nair getting CC'd and Falco taking like 60% for it. So, gotta be careful, especially with the Nair. Um, downers from above are also really scary because Peach can just grounded float. Um, I think that one of my favorite openings against Peach, especially at low percents, is grab. I think it gets you basically just as much as a shine. Um, you're not gonna get a huge combo at zero anyways, but you can put her in a terrible position where you get her above you, force her off stage, force her to play in the corner and on the ledge and stuff like that. And, uh, ooh, nice down smash there to close out the first stock. Yeah, we saw the, the slight mistake seen by Bobby getting punished really hard. He goes for a dash attack that doesn't quite connect, and then he's just sitting there waiting to get down smashed. Oh, just barely oh. dodges that up smash. I do think it would have killed. Laser up smash was a pretty clever thing to do there, but... Oh, and jab, jab, up smash. Shield pressure does get the kill for Bobby. All right, so it looks like Bobby is uh, going to be cognizant throughout this match of looking for those kill, uh, those kill hits at uh, high percents. There he went for a couple different up smashes um, mm -hmm. once he got hurt to those percentages. So curious to see if we'll see stuff like the down tilts, the, the jab back airs, stuff like that as well. We see some scrap. The dash attack does get shielded. That's one of the, the riskier moves that Peach has is dash attack. And if she does get shielded on it, that's one of the ways you can look for an open up. You kind of can't whiff punish most things that Peach has except for dash attack and down smash. Those two, if you can get her to whiff it or shield them, then you can actually get a punish. Um, so. Peach has to do them to kind of protect the space in front of her, but it's also if she gets red for it, that's one of the ways that she can start falling apart, so. Nice forward air timing there. Getting the edge guard. It is a guaranteed edge guard, but it's also really easy to mess up since forward air is not the fastest move, so. All right, and uh, predictions are oh, up predictions? for another oh 20 my God, seconds. Get in there, get in there. Left. All right, it's oh, two stocks a piece so dead even. even right now. <laughs> Love to see it. Oh, it's hard. Well, how about after Ryobi gets a 60% down smash, punishing oh, a down it's air? it's so easy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. Right. Bobby gets pushed way off stage, but really good cognizance to wait. He could have jumped earlier and put himself in a spot, but he waits till the double jumps is going to get him right to ledge. So he gets nice protected. There, Ooh, there. he goes for the side beat as, uh, ledge can or edge cancel on the side platform, but uh, Ryobi's ready with the nair, so good stuff. Oh, he drops down with the laser. That's uh, a really risky but oh! really strong option. That down tilt spacing was insane as Bobby was going up and down from the top platform with back airs. Oh, he double jump lands out of shield, but is not able to get the hit. I think he kind of got stuck in the turnaround there. Ryobeat getting the hard part, missing the easy part. Classic Ryobeat. <laughs> Ooh, and here he catches Bobby coming nice. down from the top platform with a, uh, with a dare, and he's just able to down smash it for the kill. Ooh. Bobby finds the laser F smash. Ryo yep. beat with good DI doesn't die yet, but he's low on resources. And yeah, Ouch. Bobby can just find the dare on the parasol. Yep. So dead even game here. Bobby going straight down with the up B. Oh, Ryo beat does get to the top platform, but lands on it. Unable to follow up, but he's getting a lot of damage here. Three dash attack tech chases into an up air slide off. Yeah, good by Bobby to slide off, but all he was able to get was one hit of a fair. <sighs> and now he dares back into the down smash again. Ah! Bo Ryo beat getting stuck there, messing up his aerial. Oh my god. Bobby keeps Good using trade. this dare from top platform, um, and especially at low percents, you talked about the grounded float that beats yeah. it out, and also with spacing, it means that you just get run into a yep. down smash, so... Oh. Bobby so I'll be doing a power shield down smash there. He's breaking out all the tech here. Oh, the down smash does get punched, and he spots out just a shine grab. That is such good awareness from him, and way out there for the edge guard. Perfect height in order to get back and grab the ledge. Clean game one from Ryobeat. It's really close. It's not going to be a free win for him. But uh, good start for him, for sure. Dang. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, you know, he's got some pretty good stages in this matchup, right? Mm -hmm. Dreamland, uh, Fountain of Dreams, and, of course, uh, Final Destination all feel pretty strong for Peach. So mm -hmm. um, winning that first game on a neutral stage does feel pretty good for him. Yeah. Um, with that said, it was very close. I really want to see Bobby be a bit more um, conservative with his approaches. Uh, 
into into Raubi, especially from above, especially at low percents. Um, I yeah, think if I he think... cleans that up, he could he could really change the setup of the set. Yeah, but I think that I, I would say that the low percents are the biggest thing right now. That that uh, uh, unlocking a lot of Raubi's approaches or. or openings oh double jump line out of shield dash tech backwards that's the type of stuff that like even if you play peach a lot you're not gonna be ready for it because Raubi's like the only one that does stuff like that so <laughs> it's like you're not ready for dealing with dash attack when you're behind someone's shield right it's, mm -hmm. it's not even a move that's on your radar so <laughs> all right bobby doing some weird stuff but Raubi completely unfazed by the smokes and mirrors and just finds a four air <laughs> but oh, but shine yeah. That's the reason you come to this stage as Falco, or, or one of the big reasons is that these shine combos kill at like 20%. Mm -hmm. um, so really nice by him to get that started. Can you find another one? No, this time he goes for the dare for the tech platform uh, yep. tech. And oh, that second shine doesn't connect. That would have been a kill for sure. Yup. And Rao beats able to use the side platform to find a bear and take this stuff instead. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, the shield drop turn up throw down. It was clever, but it gets ZC shined anyways, and he still dies for it. So I think this stage is actually probably the most brutal counter pick both ways, I think. Um, Falco actually just gets reliable Gibbs setups from like anywhere on the stage, which feels uh, like very unique to this stage and uh, really powerful. <laughs> if you think this is worse than uh fd for peach then you're oh uh... my god dude peach doesn't get to kill you at zero falco's killed peach at zero three times now <laughs> mm. this is how i know you've truly gone over the dark side oh the turnaround to get the bear really clean but bobby finds his way around and then somehow avoids the downs and gets the shine but then the toad you get one of those a set yeah one of those oh double jab what? into knockdown does get there so it looks like Bobby has recognized that the spacing is just a little too precise on Dare Shine. Um, if you go for Dare Shine and you just miss the shine, you just get down smashed. So instead he's going for a lot of Dare Up Tilt, or like you see there where he goes Dare Dash Dance. I think yeah. that works pretty well, but if Ryleby just pulls the trigger, you can still get <laughs> screwed over for it. Oh my yeah. god, he's dead. Well get yoshi story out of the way there i think that that's mm -hmm. what the one stage where uh mm -hmm. top platform attacks are just going to work way more than the other stages we we kind of saw bobby getting punished for top platform attacks on battlefield a lot and he just kind of hit them all on yoshi's it's mm -hmm. just like that that slight distance lower from the top platform and the fact that there's not as much corner space to go mm -hmm. off between the runoffs and stuff it's just way easier for falco to just like rawr, torpedo his way down and, and lock in on you um, but now we're going to kind of see the flip side of uh, what a counter pick looks like as Peach is going to get to just sort of chain grab and not have to deal with top platform at all. Yeah, exactly. And, and I do want to say that, you know, Bobby coming down from above with these dares, um, there has been some adaptations from him. Like, I don't think it's just the stage. Obviously, I think that was a big part of it. But the fact that he's going for other stuff out of the dares, I think, is a big deal. Yeah. And that we're going to need to see some adaptation from Ryobi to, to be able to pull that out. Good spacing here, still doing quite a lot of vertical play from the Falco player, but having high enough percent to weather down is just oh really good down air there. That's the only thing that would have clipped the sweet spot side B there. So, all right, Bobby, he finds the grab and he goes for a dare, but Robby able to sort of slide off the oh. the main stage there. Robby putting on a ton of pressure in the corner. Eventually does get reversal out of it. Ooh, but find his own reversal back and forth. Oh man, these double jump pairs. Oh, He's done man. three in a row, and Bobby just yeah. keeps. Oh, and he goes way out there with the reverse oh. turn of throw Nair. Ryo beat. Oh, it's looking stylish with the edge guards. But the shield poke down tilt closes out this stock. Another double jump cancel turn of throws. That's a, there's like so many things that like not a lot of other peaches do. It's like Ryo mm -hmm. beat and then Lod. They have like kind of like very unique option sets. I guess Polish as well. Uh, yeah, and we're seeing Bobby, he's going for a lot of full pop or double jump and then mm -hmm. like uh, fastball mix-ups and, and drift mix-ups. So he's definitely trying to switch it up here on FD, take, uh, you know, make up for the fact that he doesn't have top platform to play around. Yep. Um, so that is kind of tough for Rio beat, but so far, uh, definitely Peach finding the better of it. Yep. Great oh, approach finally. there off the laser. Huge but damage. yeah, just another... Ah. No jump from Falco, but he had just enough height to be able to side beat through the ledge still. Turn up throw, one of the best answers to ledge hop double laser from any character in the game. You can punish ledge hop double laser from center stage. Like, pretty much no one else can do that. So. <laughs> Ooh, Bobby able to wait out after the dare connect oh! and let Rio beat fall into his oh! F smash. Doesn't kill, though. Oh, yeah. All right, Bobby. 
Oh, nice awareness. He just holds the turnip, knowing that Bobby's going to be close enough to go for a punish if he tried to throw the turnip. And uh, gets my punish. Oh, <laughs> Bobby getting a little greedy for these kills. Yeah, I, I feel like Bobby looks really uncomfortable in the corner, which yeah. against a lot of other characters is not really the case anymore. He's yeah. got like great escape options, and against Browbeat right now, it looks like he does not feel like he has escapes. Yep. Able to finally oh. push Browbeat off and get the slide off, uh, the, the the wave dash back slide off Shine Bear. So we're back to last stop. Yep. See if Ryobi's corner pressure, even from really far away, is being effective, right? It's like kind of the focus on just not letting Falco get to her rather than forcing a hit right away. But just one Bobby combo ties it up like that. So suddenly the lead that felt so big is feeling very tenuous. Oh, no, the falling forward oh. just barely misses the stage. Ryobi with the lead the entire game gets come back on and eventually an SD is what's going to close it out. Oof. Yeah, Ryobi got so much mileage off of that exact in all game i think he got like i, I want to say that game alone he got like five or six double jump falling fares um that worked out in his favor and got big openings and for that mm -hmm. last one to sort of bite him in the butt and, and force an sd is uh pretty unfortunate but it is going to put bobby up 2-1 here in games and that was Rabbit's you know strongest counter pick so yeah um looks like I, I'm guessing we'll probably go back, though we didn't see any good grabs, um, right? Like, Ryobi wasn't able to find any grabs to start up yeah. those big chain grab combos, so maybe he wants to try something like Dreamland or FOD. Yeah, I would imagine he wants to go back. I think the top platform interactions are the, the main reason to pick this stage. Um, mm -hmm. Peach kind of has good combos on Falco everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. The chain grab's definitely nice, but I think the bigger deal is that you don't have to deal with the top platform ever. So. Mm -hmm. And there we see in the very first interaction, uh, we get that that double jump uh, falling fair. Uh, so Ryo Beat definitely not um, deterred from using that as an option. Uh, yeah. So that's good to see at least. Okay, and here we find yeah, the grab. Finish it. Goes for the fourth throw. I like it. And jumps over the Arcadian Ledge Dash and backers it. Oh, and he finds the turnip. It reverses back on stage and he gets the hit. Ryo Beat taking the lead once again. See if he can maintain it this time. Yeah, and I think the the big question for me is is how Ryobi handles these uh, full hop and, and double jump mix ups from uh, Bobby. Mm -hmm. I think those those have been really the mainstay of Bobby's openings, and if he can continue Oof. to find those, he'll be good. And if he loses them, uh, it's gonna be tough for Ryobi. Oh my God, Bobby! I can't imagine that he meant to full hop laser there, but doesn't drop the combo or anything. Oh, Ryobi finding just a couple trades. That's all it takes with Peach. You just need a couple trades, and suddenly. You can kind of run away with the lead. The soft dash attack gets CC down tilted. Gotta be really careful with where you aim those dash attacks. Only the, the inner part of it is actually uh, the strong hitbox. Everything else is kind of kind of a little weak. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and pretty big balls by Bobby to, to go for those repeated crouch cancels and sort of let mm -hmm. uh, Ryobi know that's what he's going for. Um, yeah. if, if the Peach reads that, she can get humongous punishes off of it. But yep. Bobby recognizing that Ryobi was trying to push the pace a little too high. Yep. Bobby's probably a little bit ready to react if Peach is going to, like, just hella close the distance and look for, like, a run-up down smash or something. Um, mm -hmm. Dash Tech does have, like, quite a bit more range than all her other options, and that's the move you're looking to CC, so, yeah. Yeah, that is true. All right, so, uh, Robbie able to close out a second grab combo. Oh! Um, Z-drop turn up into down smash. Bobby gets the up throw up air, but can't follow up any, any past oh. that. Bobby does still continue to look really uncomfortable in the corner. Yep. I feel, feel like Ryobi's corner pressure is, is really giving him some trouble right now. Yep. And he's not he even hitting him every time, right? Like, Bobby full hopped in the corner, and Ryobi just, just holds his ground. And then, oh, and he punishes the Arcadian Ledge Dash every time. Too good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See if Bobby can kind of turn it up again. The big thing that keeps Bobby in any set where he starts to fall behind is that he's just two combos away from just coming back, right? Like, he just mm -hmm. always can outpunish anyone. Ooh, and there again, we saw when, when Bobby just barely misses the spacing on the dare, he gets punished heavily. That time it was a down tilt into uh, more damage off of it, too. So uh, Bobby quickly finding a lot of percent in his last stock here. Oh, I think the dash attack just barely gets a soft one after a spot dodge. Bobby does seem to have a pretty good read on oh Ryobi's air dodge timings. Um, yep. he's, he's caught a couple of those with up tilt. Oh. Turn up throw into forward air into reverse turn up throw to grab the ledge. Sneaks on there first. The Rao beat ties it up two to two. Pretty good stuff. Kind of probably kicking himself for dropping the first FDE game, but taking the second one, 
should even it out. And now we're going to have to see the second counterpick, which I don't think Falco has a stage that's nearly mm-hmm. as brutal as Yoshi's story. He's probably going to go to like, Pokemon? I don't know. You have, you have choices like Pokemon, but then you don't have a top platform. Um, or he might just want the one of the top platform stages, which are also, I think, you know, okay and playable. So Pokemon's sure, probably yeah. the best one, but top platform can also be nice. Looks like Rio Beat allows him to go back to, to Battlefield. is Because that was his first win, right? I don't remember. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Or no, yeah, no, actually, the... no. He he won. Uh, Ryo beat on game on battle. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he sense. he had this open. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice wave land turn around grab. Bobby's able to get out, but he he puts up a back air and Ryo beat just uh, spaces it out and beats it. Oh oh, it just barely lands on the top platform. I'm pretty sure he wanted to not land on the top platform and then just fall back down. But he's still in a fine spot and this. Facing from Ryobi, where he's just holding center stage and just walling him out, is really strong. Finds a trade here. Oh, they're so even right now. Whoever takes the first stock is going to have a... Oh my god, they both take the first stock. Continues to be dead even. I was going to say whoever takes the first stock is going to get a lot of momentum. But actually, they Ryobi, get nothing. <laughs> Ryobi takes both of the first stocks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Bobby, he, I, I like this adaptation. Yeah. He's trying to come down with Shine and then double out. Um, it avoids yep. some of the, oh, the double forward air throw. into the Saturn, the double Saturn throw. That's a Ryobi classic. You throw it, you catch it, you throw it down. Beautiful. I actually think that Bobby was too low percent for a single Saturn throw in the nair to kill. So he had to do the Ryobi there in order to get the kill. So not only is it swag, it's optimal. He had to do it. Great stock from Ryobi. <laughs> yeah, and all of a sudden, after it being completely even, oh! uh, Bobby Big Balls is down a full stock, and then he gets one of patented combos and he's just right back to even yeah and that was so Ryobi close to Ryobi finding a reversal that he's actually found mm. multiple times that set where he double jumps back on hits an aerial down smash and suddenly he does 50 percent instantly bobby barely died oh but the down tilt oh my god oh bobby clenching up there a little bit i'm sure that was close to just a complete Ooh, reversal great again. laser great sdi oh and this time he reads the toad you only get one a yeah, set you, you only get one the second one that. good call <laughs> So two stocks apiece, very even here. Oh, and Bobby finds the short hop dare from the side platform, reads the air dodge once again. He's gotten that every time. Oh, I, I think you just go for the the fail the the straight land. Oh, oh the a laser catch. Approaching laser, yeah. I don't know how Rio Bait got out of that situation, but good for him. Oh, just barely misses the up air tech chase there on the side platform. Rowby trying to approach the side platform, but Falco's back air is huge. This top platform play is definitely giving Ryobi some trouble. I think it's harder and harder for Peach to deal with the higher percent she gets. Now that she's at 100, she doesn't have a great way to threaten Falco coming down with either a down air or a back air. So she's mm-hmm. like, kind of has to watch him do it and try to stay out of the threat range the whole time and <gasps> hope that Falco eventually overextends. He does not. He finds a grab. Going all the Here way to the corner. Run off from top platform all the way down into a tomahawk grab mm-hmm. was actually how Bobby got that opening. But Ryobi yep. weathers the, the ensuing combo and actually finds the reversal. He'll be the first one to force last stock in game five. Yup. Oh, man. Ooh, finally an air dodge working out in Rio Beat's favor. It wasn't in the middle of a combo. Oh. It's a little different. But Bobby finds the crouch cancel down smash. That's the yeah. peach. You can't True. do a back to her. He's like, how does it feel? <laughs> yeah, both these players playing so positionally. It's like Ooh. Bobby Big Ball's going up and down from the top platform, attacking, up, attack, up, attack. And uh, Rio Beat is constantly maneuvering himself outside of those top platform threat ranges, and then playing a mix-up every single time he comes down. Um, Bobby does seem to be racking up a lot of damage right now, though. Can't get too antsy trying to catch him just because he's going up there every time. Doesn't mean he can read it. <laughs> oh, oh, Bobby gets a big combo. Finds the last dare. Oh, but Ryobi, great uh, oh. DI to not land on the side platform and face that uh, tech mix-up. Oh, she reads the side beat on the top platform, but doesn't get there in time still. Oh, Peach is floating at laser height. Ja! <laughs> Oh my god, it's so there. close. I can't believe that dare didn't hit, and yep. then I can't believe he had the presence of mind to go for that turn grab. Bobby still got to the corner. the corner. Oh man, this is so scary. Oh, Ryobeat is starting to try to read the top block. He's trying to get there first with the double jump float. Doesn't get there oh. first, and if you get there second, you get punished. Ryobeat gets his float sniped, and he mm. does get back in, and Bobby Big Balls closes.